All right, guys. So um, welcome in Fogale Sports. Um, it's very similar to Slaughterhouse Sports. Um, it's kind of a continuation um, of, of Slaughterhouse Sports. Um, you guys can check out a lot of film that I've done over there. Kind of am in, in charge of both channels, or at least this channel I'm primarily in charge of. I work with a partner on Slaughterhouse, and I work with partners here as well, but in a different kind of way, I, I kind of have more freedom over the um, editorial process. So right now, tonight, we're going to go over three of the 2024 quarterbacks, and then tomorrow morning, we are most likely going to go and complete maybe four more evaluations, making it seven overall. Um, really, we're looking at some of the high-profile guys. Now, Will Hammond, you know, according to 24-7, is like, um, Will Hammond is like maybe 35th on this list, but he's just gotten a um, an offer from Oregon and from Penn State, and he is based near Austin, Texas, Hutto uh, High School. All right, so... Looking at Will Hammond, and again, I looked at Hammond when he was, when he got his offer from Will Stein just a couple of months ago, I looked at Will Hammond and I thought, wow, oh wow, this kid is being slept on. And right here, you know, they're rocking the the orange jerseys. You look at, at, at his footwork, you know, he looks like Matt Ryan. You know, he looks like Drew Brees. You know, Drew Brees is a quarterback in Texas. His footwork is excellent. Excellent balance. I know that the pocket is clean, but the footwork is absolutely excellent. The throw is kind of on a line, um, you know, a good 40 yards in the air, and the throw and the throwing motion, it's a very compact motion, and he's only going to get stronger and stronger. You listen to Will Hammond do interviews. His football character seems elite. Here he's going to kind of push the ball over the top, you know, facing some pressure, gets the ball out on time, gives his guy a chance to run under it and make a play. All right, so... Overall, we like what we see. We're hitting some big touchdowns. Now you see the mobility. Now you see like a little of what Bo Nix does at Oregon. Keeps the football and he's gone. You see the athletic ability that he can run. Um, he might not be. A, he, he is pretty dang fast. This is one of my favorite throws. He's at 6'2 and a half, 6'3. He hangs tall in the pocket. Watch. Right there. He's tall. He's not overstriding. And look, this throw is not really open. What he's doing it is he's throwing it right by 24's ear hole. He anticipates this throw. He anticipates the throw into the window, uses his 6'3 body to throw over 24 and throws it with authority. That is a Drew Brees like kind of toss by Will Hammond. Here Hammond's gonna get outside of the pocket and he's gonna get even faster and make that kind of throw. Is his game really going outside of the pocket? Not necessarily. He's kind of a movement thrower. Here he's going to loft the ball kind of deep into the air. All right. Put a little air under it. It still gets there. He has a good arm. His arm is not like, okay, some of the some of maybe the top top end quarterbacks in this class. But he is damn accurate, and he's going to get the football out on time, and he's going to use he's going to use his skill, all right, which is a compact throwing motion, and he's going to get the job done, all right, with his footwork and with the way that again he tests defenses down the field in the way that he you know processes and reads, all right. You look here at the footwork. This is pro level stuff, pro level stuff, all right. Does he have a little bit of Daniel Jones, a little bit of Matt Ryan in him? He does, but I think that he's even more compact, even has a bigger arm at this level than even Daniel Jones might have had. So I just think that the guy, you know, seems like a pro quarterback. Look, perfect footwork, going to put it on the back shoulder, you know, going to keep the, going to not tip the hand with the safety, all right, and he's going to give, he's going to give a very accurate throw where only his guy's going to get it. This guy is one of the more accurate quarterbacks. Here he's going to take a hit. As he's releasing this ball, he takes a shot, a huge shot rolling to his right, and he still really completes it, gives his guy, you know, room to go get it. So these are tight window throws. 
There he's going to get hit, but he delivers a high loftable throw. He has different tools in the toolkit, meaning like, hey, you know, I can put it on a line if you need me to, or I can lob it. So I even think Will is going to get even stronger. That's the great thing is that he has arm strength, but he throws it the right way. He's not like overstriding into his throw, like putting everything into it. He's just going to become better and more efficient as a passer. I think he can dissect defenses. I think he can give the receivers, you know, room to go and make plays. He'll put the ball in his playmaker's hands, and um, there's a lot of good college-level quarterbacks that can do it. I think he's going to be a very productive college-level quarterback, and I think that he actually is has a high chance of also being, you know, a pro, you know, a, a guy drafted in the first four rounds. So, you know, that's where I see Hammond going. I think he's right now of the quarterbacks that I've seen, he's in the top five because I think he's going to be a really productive college player, and I also believe that he's going to be a starting quarterback uh, in the in the NFL as well at some point. I think he's going to start games in the league. So, you know, that's just, you know, my evaluation here on Fogales. I'm Spencer G. from Fogales. You can also find all of my work at Slaughterhouse Sports and Rover Sports. So Slaughterhouse has a lot, a lot of college film on 23 three guys uh, that we've just concluded on there. So a kind of fun project here on this channel. Going to be uploading a ton, ton of college level videos on this channel, even maybe more than I've done maybe in the past. So uh, that is Will Hammond. I think that who does he play like? A little bit of Drew Brees, a little bit of Matt Ryan. All right. Not the biggest arm, but he does everything else well. And his arm isn't horrific, like meaning like he still has a very functional arm arm and his footwork is excellent high football character throws of anticipation probably the most accurate quarterback in this class and his footwork is excellent has prerequisite height has enough mobility to be very successful thinks his way through the game so I like Will Hammond a lot as a quarterback I think he will be a very prolific college quarterback and will be a probably third or fourth round NFL quarterback with potential to even be higher. All right. Thank you guys for watching Will Hammond's highlight video.